Hello friends, I'm Tim Wildsmith. You know, this box just arrived from my friends at 316 Publishing. I know that it's a new copy of the Legacy Standard Bible, but I don't know which one it is. It's a really fun story and I'm excited to check it out. So 316 Publishing, aka Steadfast Bibles, has a new edition of the Legacy Standard Bible called the Inside Column Reference Edition. It has a bunch of different options. You can get goat skin, cowhide, faux leather, hardcover, and basically what they did, they announced that they were going to send out eight copies of this Bible to eight different Bible reviewers and not tell us which ones we were going to get. I think this is really fun. I've never had a publisher do anything like this before. They posted a picture on Facebook with like our names on sticky notes and a big stack of Bibles. I was like, this is this is a really fun idea. So the cool thing about this is that you folks out there, if you keep up with all of us, you get to see all of the different editions of this Bible that are available. And I was really honored that they included me in this. I've done a couple of reviews of the LSB, the, the handy size, I've done the wide margin. They, uh, 316 slash Steadfast has continued to publish a lot of different editions of the Bible. This is their newest one. I got a copy right here. It's a really fun kind of surprise unveiling. Not exactly sure what's going to be in here. Are you ready for it? I've got my B cam right here. What's up? Let's dive in. I've already seen a couple of the other reviewers posting videos about this, about the ones that they got. I decided I was going to stop watching those videos because I truly wanted to be surprised when I got in here. So I'm going to open this up. All right, there we go. Set this down. <laughs> lots of paper, lots of paper. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's a big box. This is a big Bible. Wow. Okay, here we go. All right, take the box. <laughs> Sorry, Becca, that was really loud. Oh, wow. Okay, so let's see here. Get the paper or the plastic off of there. I got some nice little cards in here. Just things about the LSB and their website and the different editions. This is the inside column reference Bible. Blue cowhide. I got one of the cowhide editions in blue. So check this out. There's the box, Legacy Standard Bible, inside column reference edition. There you see on the bottom it says blue cowhide index. So it's going to have the indexed tabs on there. This is really, really cool. Legacy Standard Bible, nice two-piece box. It says on this side all of the different features of the Bible, which I'll go through in a minute. I'll give you a little picture in there. Nice little snapshot of what that looks like. Okay, are we ready for this? Let's do this. Oh, is it blue? Yeah, it's blue. I'd say and under my lights here, it looks a little black. Let me get this. So it's wrapped in plastic. And then, oh, that's nice. It's like a very navy. It's like a, it's a deep blue. This is very lovely. Oh, I like this a lot. I actually had a copy of the edge lined blue goat skin of the handy size that they did. And I'm kind of bummed, whoops, sorry. I'm kind of bummed that I got rid of that because it was such a beautiful Bible. That is a really nice grain. I just had to check because when I felt how floppy this was, I assumed that it was edge lined. This is actually the paste down cowhide edition, but it's a really nice pebbly. Do you see that grain in there? Yeah, really nice grain. And it's really, this Bible is really soft and floppy. That is, that is really cool. You got raised spine hubs, LSB, it says Steadfast Bibles at the bottom, Holy Bible. This looks nice. It's got some like dark navy, uh, like kind of synthetic liners in there. Paste down. I, this is shockingly floppy and, and like malleable. Is that the right word? Malleable? Like it seems very, very soft for a Bible that has a paste down liner. I'm, I'm pleasantly, oh, the paper is nice and the layout is fantastic. That is great. Oh, it's a big, thick inside column. Okay, so this is an inside column reference Bible. You see the cross references, whoops, are on the inside. Let me get to a page that doesn't have the, uh, the ribbon for you. So the cross references are the inside. What I love about this is that it pushes the text out of the gutter. So your actual text of scripture is out here. You're not worried about it falling off the edge into the page. That looks really Really nice. It's got red accents all over the page. You see this one has the indexes, so you can find your books of the Bible. You can get options with and without indexing on all of these editions. Really great paper. I believe this is 40 GSM paper. It feels good. I, I mean, I can tell that this was uh, designed and typeset by 2K Denmark. I know they've been doing that, but this is just, it has that look. Like, very, very nice 
verse by verse. You know what? Let's do an overhead video. Let me like show you all of the specs of this Bible because it would be a waste of your time not to really dig into this and show it to you. But this is cool. Like the, the, the concept of them sending out eight different Bibles so you can see it. I love the blue. That's very beautiful. They, they selected these randomly. So we all kind of got a random one. It's got a nice gold art gilding on the pages. That is, that is really cool. Yeah, yeah. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to spend some time with this Bible. I'm going to come back and record an overhead video where I walk you through it, show you all of the specs so you can get a closer look. Look at how, <laughs> I'm going to do it in a second. I'm going to geek out for a minute. Look at how flat that opens right out of the box. Like, so beautiful, big, open, wide. It's a big Bible. It's a thick Bible, but like, if you're looking for a verse-by-verse -verse reference Bible, that single column that has all the references, that has all of these features, like, this is sharp. This is, this is really sharp. Okay. I'm going to go spend some time with this, film an overhead video so you can see all the specs of this Bible. Okay, friends, this is a fully loaded Bible, but before we dive in, let's look at the outside. This is the Pace Down Cowhide Edition, really nice grain there. This is the blue. It's kind of hard to tell, but you can see that's like a blue. They have a black edition as well, and they offer both of them as either indexed or non Index. I typically go with non-indexed Bibles. Most of that's because when I was in Awana as a kid, I just learned where all the books of the Bible were, so I can hop to it pretty quick. But it's a nice feature to have um, if you like that. So there's these raised spine hubs on the side, five of them kind of offset like that. You see it says the foil stamping, legacy standard Bible, holy Bible, and then steadfast Bibles. Really, really nice. You see how floppy this is in my hand for being, yes, a paste down Bible. This this is a very soft and floppy Bible. This edition comes with two ribbons. You have a blue and kind of like a pale goldish color. I'm sure all of the ribbon colors uh, change depending on which color you get, which edition it is. There's a thin perimeter stitch all the way around the outside. It looks really nice. This is a big Bible. At the text block, this Bible is six and a half inches wide and nine and a quarter inches tall, and it's almost one and three quarter inches thick. This is basically the size of what you think of as like a standard study Bible size, maybe not quite as thick, but it's a big, a thick Bible. This was uh, printed and bound in Korea. Uh, the folks at LSB and um, Steadfast Bible slash 316 Publishing have been doing some really good work with some publishers in, or some printers in South Korea. A lot of it just looks really, really excellent. So it looks great. It's a uh, Smithsone binding. It's got overcast stitching. It just looks really sharp uh, all the way around. So opening this up on the inside, you get a few blank sheets in there several in here. Then you get to the thin Bible paper. You see it says inside column reference Bible. Here is the copyright page. There you see all of that information. There's all of the different editions that they have available there as well. Then you get the forward to the uh, Legacy Standard Bible. Several pages in there. You get an explanation of the format, which is telling you about all the things that they've used as far as uh, paragraphs in boldface, quotation marks, paragraphs noted by boldface, personal pronouns are capitalized, the use of italics and small caps. If you're familiar with the New American Standard Bible, they use a lot of those um, uh, same things. Your books of the Bible in order here. Then you get the title page, and there you go. Basic setup of the Bible. Single column on the outside of the page with inside column cross-references. If I kind of open up here a little bit just so you can see the way it looks. Again, this Bible lays super flat if I get to the middle here. So pretty standard. It's going to be a verse-by-verse -verse format. It is line matched. It's got inside column cross-references, and that is a big, that's over an inch wide in there. So it really opens up the page for you, single column, verse-by-verse. -verse. It's black letter. You do get red accents on the page. So there's red accents in the headers. There's red accents um, on the titles of the pages and the page numbers, things like that. You're going to get some red accents on the page to kind of delineate things. There's the chapter headers, um, things like that. You get bolded text when it's noting a new paragraph. That's because it's a verse-by-verse -verse Bible, so they all kind of have their own uh, paragraphs. This is designed by 2K Denmark. It's a typesetting that was designed by them, and it uses an 11-point typeface. Now, I think reference Bible, and I think they're going to have a really small typeface. Nope, they've gone with an 11-point typeface. It's really beautifully uh, laid out. It's line-matched. I love the single-column look. Verse-by-verse verse makes studying verse-by-verse verse through the Bible or following along with someone who's preaching from the Legacy Standard Bible uh, really, really easy. Now, as far as all of these cross-references go, they do have over 95,000 cross-references on these inside columns, and they have 14,000-plus translator notes, which you'll see down here at the bottom of the page.
Oop, there we go, focus. So your translator notes are at the, I'm noticing this real quick. That's really cool that they did this. So the cross references start at the top, the footnotes start at the bottom. That's a really good way to do it. So you can kind of jump around and know which ones uh, you're looking for. Again, I love the red pop in the chapter number there, just kind of accents the page um, just a little bit. When you get to the New Testament, it's the exact same format. You notice here you can see the indexing there, like the back of it, and then the front of it, it's nice, bold, um, black and gold. So you can kind of find they do three books uh, at a time there, which is really nice. Um, looks great. This paper, by the way, is 40 GSM Bible paper. Um, again, I really think that the paper that they've been using in these new Bibles from 316 and Sitfast is just really, really nice. It has a little bit of a, a sheen to it, to the touch, but it's very opaque. It's really um, easy to turn, and with it being 40 GSM, I do think that it's going to take um, notes well. If you wanted to write some notes out here in the spaces on some of these columns, there's not a ton of room to do that. You're getting literally about a half inch there, and the um, the indexes kind of cut into that a little bit on this Bible, but if you wanted to do some writing in this Bible, highlighting, things like that, underlining, it's, it's going to handle it really well, I do believe so. So when we get to the end here, oops, I jumped right to it. Revelation chapter 22 ends on page 1,590, so it's an almost 1,600-page thick Bible, but again, 11-point typeface, single column always makes things a little bit longer, 40 GSM. It's a big, thick Bible. You get a table of monetary units there, there's weights and measures, and then you get a concordance. This concordance is a 90-page concordance that has over 16,000 entries in it. Obviously, it gets to a much smaller typeface once you get in there. I realize now that I didn't bring up the Bible to let you see the, the actual text block, so I'll go back and do that in a second, but 90 pages of a concordance. After the concordance, whoops, you get a set of glossy Bible maps. Pretty traditional look on these. A little bit thicker cardstock back here. I like this one, the ministry of Jesus. Really fun for me here now, um, you know, a new year. I just went to Israel a few weeks ago as I'm looking at this and I'm going, oh, I've been to some of those places. I've driven the roads that go from here to here. It's just really, really cool to see that. So some blank sheets in the back. Let me jump back in here, get you into one of the Psalms. So there you go. There you see, O Yahweh, one of my favorite things about the LSB, that they've translated it that way. So there you see a nice 11 point text. You can see there, if you look, that the, the line match text jumps right on those lines on the other side of the page. So you're really not distracted when you're reading through the text. Really spaced well. Lovely design by 2K Denmark, and it's very, very high quality production. And honestly, the cool thing about these is no matter which binding you get on all of these different LSB Bibles, the text block on the inside is going to be the same great quality um, on any of them. So if you want to save a little bit of money and go for a hardcover, which is going to be a lot less than this one or the Goatskin edition, you're still going to get a really great Bible on the inside. You're really paying the premium for the construction and the materials that you're going to get on the outside. But Overall, this, this looks great. It feels great. Really, really well done. So there you have it, the inside column reference edition of the Legacy Standard Bible. Really beautiful job from 316 Publishing, Steadfast Bibles. This looks great. It feels great. Now, again, there's four different editions of this Bible. There's this one. This is the Cowhide edition. There's also an edge-lined goatskin edition. Check out my friend Tim Nichols' channel. I believe he's the one who got that Bible. There's also some hardcover editions. I've had several hardcover editions um, from Steadfast through here in the LSB that are fantastic Bibles. And then there's a faux leather edition. I know my friend Randy Brown over at Bible Buying Guide got one of those. So definitely surf around there. I think uh, Cam got a Bible. David Lee Brown got a Bible. I can't remember who all else. Maybe Tim Frisch got a Bible as well. A bunch of different people got different uh, copies of this Bible. So you can see all of the different ones that are out there. And as always, I will put a link to the LSB website, the Legacy Standard Bible website, and the 316 Publishing website so you can see the prices on all of the different editions and which colors are available. They, obviously, they do a really good job of pr producing new Bibles, having different type settings and stuff like that, but then giving you a lot of options um, when you get to the specific Bible that you know you want. So again, I'll take uh, pictures of this. If you'd like to check those out, get a closer look, find me on Instagram and Facebook. Just search for Bible Review Blog. You can follow along there on social media. If you enjoyed this video, then definitely subscribe to the channel for me. I'd love to have you around. Surf around my channel, check out my other videos, click that like button, maybe share the video, that'll help the algorithm out. And if you really, really enjoy my channel, you can click the join button at the bottom of this video, find out what it means to be a channel member and to support me as I make videos. I'd just like to shout out to all of my members. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for your love.
and support. And thank you for watching this video. This was a ton of fun. Thanks again to 316 and Steadfast. This was a really cool idea, very, very unique thing for you guys to do. So thanks so much for watching, everybody. I'll see you next time.